Nightmare. Welcome back to my channel. I decided to pick up the vlog today because it has been quite some time. I haven't vlogged since my Miami trip, which was about a month ago. And I realized I've really missed vlogging, talking to you guys, catching up. So here I am. I decided to pick up a nannying job on the side. So that's been keeping me quite busy. But I wanted to prioritize vlogging today because... Like I said, I miss it. So welcome, thank you all for being here. I've had quite a productive morning so far. I woke up, did a meditation, had my drinks. I've been doing lemon salt water in the morning, warm, then a ginger green tea, and I made the bed. I feel good, and now it's time to chat about some skincare. So I've been using some new products lately, and if you all have been a subscriber of my channel, you all know that I'm very much into skin. I've dealt with acne, sensitive skin for the past, 10 plus years and I've definitely tried out a lot of different products and I always like to share my raw and real opinion on them. None of this is sponsored. This is all products I bought with my own money and I just want to share my opinion with you all in case you're looking to get new skincare or in case you want to try the skincare products I've been using and you're curious to hear reviews about it. So the first product I wanted to talk about is the Hydroglow Moisturizer by Clear Stem. I've been using their supplement, the Mind Body Skin for acne for months now and I'm obsessed with that. This is what it looks like. But this is what I came here to talk about because this is a new product for me. Now I haven't been using it for more than like a week I would say so I can't really give the most in-depth review about it because I haven't used it long enough to see major results but I thought I would share kind of my first thoughts with you all. So, so far, I like it. It's different than any of the moisturizers I've used in the past. Whenever you switch moisturizers, it's kind of an adjustment to get used to a different texture, smell, finish, all of that stuff. So, off the bat, the one thing that is very noticeable about this product is the smell. It smells amazing, but it does have a very strong scent, and the scent kind of reminds me of like grape, grape something. It's a very like grape heavy scent. I just didn't expect it to smell like that. When it comes to me and my skin, I usually opt for fragrance free products just because I find that they are less irritating for my sensitive skin. My skin is prone to redness. I'm not sure if it's from using acne products for years trying to clear my skin but it's definitely sensitive so I have to be very cautious on what products I use and what products I don't use. That's something to note if you like a fragrance free moisturizer this is not the one for you. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some just so you all can kind of see how it goes on. You're only supposed to use like a nickel amount. Something else to know is it is in this kind of container instead of one that has like a pump. I know it's not as hygienic as a pump moisturizer, so that's kind of one downside to it. But that also allows you to get like every drop of the product out so you're not wasting any. So I guess there's like pros and cons about the packaging. It does go on nicely. It's more of like a thick consistency, but it's not sticky. So far, I like it. I want to give it a try for at least a month. I'm the type to try something for a couple days, and if I feel like I notice a slight breakout or something, I just kind of stop it. But it hasn't given me a reaction. I do have a couple breakouts, but it may be unrelated to the moisturizer. So I want to give it a chance. I'm going to try it for a month, and I will come back and share with you all my update then. I don't wash my face in the morning, but I thought I'd share with you all the cleanser by then that I've been using as well. This I really like. This is the Gentle Clean Cleanser. has vitamin C, golden seal, green tea. Apparently, it's brightening, balancing, and calming. And the scent for this is kind of like an herbal scent. Let me see what's in it so I could explain the scent. Okay, so it does have grapefruit extract, and then it has grapefruit peel oil as well. So that's, it's kind of like a citrus, citrusy herbal scent that I'm picking up. Again, if you have extremely sensitive skin and you're sensitive to essential oils, keep that in mind. I've been liking this so far. It definitely feels like it cleans my face, doesn't strip my skin, which is important. For all of their products, they are really serious about not having any pore clogging ingredients in them, which is nice for us gals with acne that need to watch out for pore clogging ingredients. So since I'm on the topic of skincare, I thought I'd go ahead and share with you guys that I've been using these as well to dry my face whenever I do wash my face. 
and it is the Clean Skin Club towels. So they are disposable towels, and they're supposed to be a lot better and softer for your skin than regular washcloths. So that's something else I've been switching up in my routine, and I do really like these. You could get them off Amazon or their website. I like getting them off Amazon because of course the shipping is free and fast if you have Prime. And yeah, I've been liking these. I highly recommend these if you're looking to be more sensitive and fragile with your skin. So those are all of the products I wanted to share with you all at the moment. But let me know if you all try any of those or if you have been using them and you love them or if you had a bad experience with them, please let me know. I love hearing just honest reviews about things so let's go ahead and get into the rest of the vlog i need to make breakfast i need to go for a walk if it stops raining which fingers crossed it does let's go ahead and get into the rest of the day also i reorganized my little skincare shelf and i just feel like it is so much better now i used to have a ton of products on here that i was not using and now I kind of just have my absolute favorites. I also have been using this OC, OC, Osea? I don't know how you say that, but they're body oil and I do like that as well. my simple breakfast of the day i did some toasted sourdough toast i heated up in the microwave real quick minced garlic and butter spread that over the toast some olive oil the hard-boiled eggs salt pepper paprika and then i'll probably do a little hot sauce the process of organizing me and John's closet but what I just did is kind of organize my purses I wanted to color coordinate them I recently got rid of a ton of purses that I was not using and I still have quite a few for me this is a lot and usually I only use like two or three of them most of the time but as you could tell I really like black purses I love this vintage coach one I got. I also have this Ralph Lauren one that's vintage that I use most of the time. With fall coming up, I just feel super motivated to clear stuff out, organize, and that's kind of what I've been doing in our closet. So I might go through some of my drawers. I have a ton of shirts here that I honestly would like to donate and just kind of clear stuff out and make room for better things. I am kind of in a stage of wanting to rebrand my entire life and cleaning out my closet is one of those steps. So I'm gonna be working on that.
went through a few of my drawers and this is the pile I came up with that I'm going to be donating. I also have this silk dress from Revolve that I absolutely love and I got it a few years ago for Valentine's Day. But unfortunately, it is just too small on me now. So I'll probably be uploading this on my Depop or Poshmark. So I'm laying some stuff out on the table that I think I could sell online. So I have a few shirts, dresses, skirts there. That Revolve dress I just showed you all. And I have this dress from Lioness that I got about a month ago from Miami. And... It ended up just not fitting right and it's brand new, never worn out, so I need to list that. I have some flip-flops and these Uggs, which are literally adorable. I just don't love the platform and they're barely used, so I'm going to be listing these and then these three purses as well. So I'm about to take pictures of everything and list them and hopefully sell a couple items. John brought me home. He ended up leaving early for work because he has a doctor's appointment and he got us some Chick-fil-A. I just finished posting a few things on Depop, so I feel super accomplished, but my battery's flashing, so I need to switch it out. Okay, got a new battery in, but I feel really accomplished. I will link my Depop account down below in case you all are interested in buying any of those items. But I did want to show you guys this top I've been wearing all day. It is from actually H&M. I got it for like eight bucks, I think, and it's 95% organic cotton. So I really like it. If you all need any basics, I would go to H&M just for like the t-shirts because it's pretty good quality for H&M. I usually don't shop those kind of stores honestly because a lot of times the quality sucks but i was happy with this and i already washed it and everything and yeah i just went for a walk and oh, i feel so good i facetimed my best friend while going on the walk and i think i was gone for like 45 minutes and it went by so fast and i just feel so much better and i was not feeling like moving my body today but I did it anyways, and I'm so happy that I did. So this is your reminder. Move your body, go for a hot girl walk, go to the gym, whatever makes you feel good, and your body will be so thankful. I literally have you guys balancing on a lemon right now, so I hope my camera doesn't fall. But I just got out of the shower. I feel all fresh and clean. I washed my hair today, which is why it's in this little hair towel. And I just feel really nice and relaxed now. I have my fake fire going on the tv and then some jazz in the background and i always love to set the mood set the vibe when i'm cooking dinner because it just makes me more in the mood to cook so <laughs>
and do this one. The final product. I ended up doing a garlic bread thing instead of rice, but I added some extra stuff. I ended up doing spinach and cheese as well, and then the carrots and ground beef. And I have this sauce from this sauce from Whole Foods that we'll be using with the carrots. <laughs>